going on, Shred Team family? Look, I'm right back with another great video. If you're new to the Shred Team family, welcome to the Shred Team family. All we do over here is get games. Listen, we get games for real. We do not play. We go in the gym, we put that work in, we go home, we eat, we sleep, we rest, and we grow. That is all it takes. We never go in the gym and spend like hours upon hours upon hours in the gym because you are wasting games. We go in there within 45 to 60 minutes. We blast out every single session and we go home and we grow. So like I tell you, if you're new to the Shred Team family, Welcome to the strength team. All we do is get gains. That's way too much talking, so let's jump straight into this back workout for mass. Our first exercise, we have the T-bar rows. We have four warm-up sets. I did 25 pound plate jumps. If you have to do 10 pounds, that's fine. If you can do 45 pounds, that is fine. So this is how I want your reps to go for your warm-up sets. Your first set, you're gonna do 20 reps. I want your reps to be slow, and I want your reps to be controlled. This is gonna go ahead and help you to get that mind-muscle connection. This way, you're gonna make sure that your back is going to grow. Now, your second set, I want you to add some weight. Now you're going to do 15 reps. Now your third set, I want you to add some more weight. Now you're going to do 12 reps. Your fourth and final warm-up sets, I want you to do 10 reps. Like I said, keep your reps strict. Now by this point, you should already be sweating. Your back should already be pumped up and your lats should be ready to go ahead and pull some heavy weight. So we have four sets and we're going to stay between 8 to 15 reps. I want you to pyramid up. So every single set, I want you to add more weight. And you know how I am routine. I love volume and I love intensity. So that fourth set is going to be a double drop set to failure. I mean failure, I mean you cannot perform another rep with good form. Like you're seeing in the video, I always exaggerate that range of motion and get a long stretch. That's why I use the 25 pounds because I can get a better stretch. And also when I bring the weight back up, I can get a 10 times better contraction and squeeze. Now once you reach failure, I want you to take off either one plate or two plates. I was taking off two plates just because I wanted to be able to get the maximum reps. So I take off two plates. Then I'd get right back into another set strength team and then I'd go to failure. And then after I reach failure, I take off two more plates and again strength team, I did as many reps as my body could handle. This is how you're going to grow, I promise you. Push yourself, push your mind, and push your body way beyond your own expectations. Now, to finish with that, we have the single arm dumbbell row. We have four sets, and we're going to stay between 8 to 12 reps. Now, I want you to go somewhat heavy, but I don't want the weight to be too heavy where it's going to sacrifice your form. Like I tell you with everything, leave your ego outside. Over here at Shrimp Team, it's all about great form on every single rep. We go into our form breaks down. Now, once your form starts breaking down, that's when your set is done. Like you're seeing in the video, I want you to stretch all the way down and stretch a little bit in front of you. Now, pull that weight straight up and towards your hips and squeeze and hold it for a half second. And that's how I want you to perform it for every single rep. And like I told you before, we're all about volume. We're all about intensity. So that four set is a drop set. Now to finish with that, we have the straight bar seated cable row. We have four sets for 8 to 15 reps, and you know how I get down. The fourth set is a double drop set to failure. I love this exercise, and it's a great exercise just to go ahead and tie everything in and finish your back off. Like you're seeing in the video, I always stretch. I mean, I almost exaggerate the stretch. My goal is to bring my elbows out in front of my knees. Now once I stretch all the way out, now I just drive all the way back, pulling my elbows as far back as I possibly can, and I hold it for half second that way I can get that peak contraction and I repeat that for every single rep. Like I told you, the four sets of drop set. So like you're seeing in the video, after I go to failure, I immediately have my workout partner to lighten the weight up, maybe like 40 to 50 pounds, and then I get right back in our strength team. I clean my reps up a little bit and I go to failure. This is why my back has been growing. This is why my legs have been growing. This is why my chest, this is why everything's been growing. These failure sets, when you put them in and you customize them and you have it designed right, I'm telling you, they're going to take your physique to a whole different level. Now to finish with that, our back is done. Three exercises is all it takes. You do not need a lot of exercises. Get the good quality exercises that work, work the muscles that you're targeting, and that's it. Now, we're going to do a little bit of work for our traps. We have the dumbbell shrugs, and it's just going to be a run the rack set. I know you're thinking, what is that? I'm going to show you. So what you do is, I started with the 100 strength team. I want you to go ahead and get them and go to failure. Do as many reps as you can do. I'm telling you, your traps are going to be more pumped up than if you go and work out your traps for like 30 minutes. Immediately, once you cannot do another rep, now I want you to lighten the weight up from 10 pounds, and now jump down to the 90s, and again, go right back to failure strength team with minimum rest in between these sets. After you finish with that, now go down to the 80s. Now go down to the 70s and your last one do the 60s. The pump that I had in my traps was gain certified. Y'all know traps is one of my weaknesses but after I finished with those 60 pounds man my traps look like Johnny Jackson's. Well 
I ain't gonna lie to you, they didn't look nothing like that. But you know what I'm saying, like I had a great pump in my trap, so definitely try this little run to rack set. Now, we're just gonna do one little exercise for our biceps, and this workout is over. So we have the dumbbell 10 by 10 by 30s. So what you're seeing in the video, I want you to choose a weight that's somewhat challenging. So you're gonna hold your left arm halfway up, and I want you to squeeze and flex your bicep. Now with your right arm, I want you to perform 10 strict, nice reps. I want you to think about growing. As that weight's coming down, I want you to feel that stretch in your biceps, and as that weight's coming up, I want you to feel it and at the top squeeze I want you to think about squeezing and feel that contraction at the top of every single rep do not just swing the weight strength team you're not going to grow like that okay you will grow but you're not going to grow nowhere near once you start doing all these quality reps even if you got to drop the weight by 20 pounds you're still going to come out on top so after you finish 10 reps now I want you to switch the other arm and do the exact same thing for another 10 reps now after you finish 10 reps with your left arm now I want you to do 30 reps with both arms together now when I tell you that the pump is just almost Almost too much to bear it is almost too much to bear but we still want to bear and we still want to get those gains so like you're seeing the video I show y'all all my failure sets I want y'all to see that I struggle too strength team a lot of people don't, don't show y'all the struggles but I show y'all my struggles I show y'all my failures because that's a part of the gym life you cannot avoid it so I think I may have got like 12 reps then I had to put the weight down for maybe like eight seconds then I picked it up then I think I may have got like seven or eight more reps and again I felt again so I had to put the weight back down I did this until I performed 30 reps and that's all it took my biceps were massively pumped up one exercise a matter of like two and a half minutes that's why i'll be trying to tell you it's all about quality sit with me it's all about quality <laughs> and that's it but like i'm telling every single video strength team make sure you like this video make sure you share this video but at the end of the day make sure you keep getting them gates <sighs>